service. That's Harris Ace Hardware. Harris Ace is your place for Yeti coolers, Traeger grills, Costa Demar sunglasses, Calcutta Renegade coolers, plus Harris Ace is your hometown dealer for yellow wood treated lumber. Harris Ace will not be undersold on price, so you know you're getting the best price at Harris Ace. Your favorite place for hardware and lumber supplies is Harris Ace Hardware, West Cherry Street in Jessup. It's time now for a look at the latest in local sports and sports. The Braves have the day off before starting a weekend series on the road at St. Louis. The Braves lost two out of three to Cincinnati. The Reds in the afternoon game Wednesday win by a final of six to five. All the games this weekend here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. College World Series out in Omaha, Nebraska, comes down to the championship game tonight between Oregon State and Arkansas. Oregon State wins Wednesday 5-3 to set up the championship game this evening. Again, the series tied 1-1. Arkansas could have won the game and won the series if they catch a foul ball, but three players converge and watch it fall safely to the ground. Next pitch, a base hit to tie the game, and then Oregon State went on to win it 5-3. Again, just simply catch the ball. Wayne County still celebrating that sixth out of our seven all-star summer baseball Softball teams head to state events in the month of July. Four district titles, including the eight and under boys, eight and under girls, midget boys and midget girls, all with district champions, junior boys and ten under girls, finished district runner-ups, but all headed to state now preparing for their state trips in July. More practices, more practice games. District swim meet is set for Douglas on Monday. Swim team expecting many members of the Prana swim team to qualify for state as well. The state meet in Tifton in July. Still waiting on the results from the Camden meet this past Monday, but this past Saturday they traveled to Vidalia, took second place overall with 25 swimmers. Seven swimmers were awarded high point awards in their age group. The 7, 8, and boys, Hank Gilder, won first place high point. Morgan Johnson, finished second high point. And the 7, 8 girls, Emery Mattingly, placed second overall. For the 9 and 10 girls, Kylie Vlosen captured first place overall point-wise. For 11 and 12 girls and the 13 and 14 boys, Benjamin Thomas won first place. And Spencer Hoyt and Will Scarborough finished third for the high point. In the 15, 18 year old division for boys. Again, the district swim meet set for Monday in Douglas. Wayne County scrimmage on August 10th with Hilton Head now just 43 days from today. Jackets are open on the 17th of September. Then they're at Long County to open up the season on the 24th. The football team headed to Glen Academy today for a padded camp. Richmond Hill rolls in on the 31st of August. That'll be a pretty good football game. September 7th on the road at Buford, South Carolina. September 14th schedule has another good game at home against Glen Academy. September 21st will be the border war with Appling County. That's also at J.C. Stadium. Then September 28th on the road at Bradwell Institute. Again, the football schedule out. Wayne County opens up with a scrimmage on August the 10th against Hilton Head. Again, just 43 days from today. That's going to do it for latest in local sports. Sports is brought to you each and every day at this time by friends at Harris Ace Hardware. Your Jessup Piggly Wiggly is now offering